Hey, and welcome to the Izzy Chinche Show. The first piece of going viral is making sure that you are ready for hate and you are ready for hate comments because as soon as you start doing well and you start going viral, you are going to get hateful comments. I am so pumped that you tuned in. My goal with the show is to inspire and motivate you to the best of my abilities. I believe our world needs more leaders, and I believe that you, my listener, are a leader, and that you have the opportunity to impact your community and family by simply being you. I truly am here to try and serve and offer value to your life, and if you enjoy the show, it would mean the most to me if you could please either rate, subscribe, or share the show with anyone who you think might benefit from listening. Together, we can make this world a better place. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope you love today's episode. Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited you're here, so excited to be able to serve and hopefully add some value to your day. All right, so today I'm going to be chatting about the three biggest tips to going viral. And the first piece of going viral is making sure that you are ready for hate and you are ready for hate comments because as soon as you start doing well and you start going viral, you are going to get hateful comments. It's how it works. It's viral hate comments, viral hate comments. Like they go hand in hand. It's actually a good sign. If you start getting hate comments, then you know you're doing something right because people feel so threatened by you doing awesome, they feel a need to personally attack it so that they can justify why they are not doing awesome uh, and not doing as well as you're doing. Okay, so first is really making sure that you are in a space to handle hateful comments and be able to handle hate like that. And I actually think it's beneficial for pretty much every single person because we live in a digital age to be okay with hate comments and be okay with that and realize that it literally has nothing to do with you and everything to do with that person feeling so threatened by you that they feel the need to go out of their way to tear you down. But the first, the first thing you have to address is, am I ready for that? Am I ready to have random people say mean things and even DM me and say mean things and hate on things that I'm actually proud of? And if you, first of all, you need to know that if you're going to go viral, that's going to happen. It's not like, oh, you should probably be, no, it's going to happen. It's how it works. Success means people are also going to hate on you having success. So you need to make sure that you're ready for that. And really, it's like the only way that you can kind of prepare for that, I think, is by like looking at other very successful posts and pages and just seeing that every single one of them has hateful comments and seeing that it's not just you that's getting hated on. It's anything that's successful is going to get hated on. And then you can kind of realize like, okay, it, it takes away a layer of like personal feelings towards it. It's less personal. I'm like, oh, this happens to everyone. This is everything. This isn't just me. This is literally what happens. As soon as you start to get successful, you start to get hate. And that way it can kind of alleviate a little bit of pressure and you can start to realize, okay, everyone has that. They'll say really mean things. Am I ready for that? Okay. I think I am ready for that then you just need to do it and and keep trying because it's going to take a while to get viral, but you just have to be ready for the hate once you do go viral. Okay. So the first thing, if you want to go viral, be ready for hate (laughs) because they go hand in hand. I can't tell you that enough. They go hand in hand. Number two is make sure first and foremost, you are adding value. You're not doing it for you so that you can get viral, you're doing it to give and to add value. That is how you'll go viral because you're coming from a place of servitude, which is such a high vibration. 
It's like, I am here to serve. Like almost all my posts that go viral, I literally sit there, I pause for a second. I'm like, okay, what would be very helpful for a high school soccer player to hear right now? Because that's my niche. That's, that's who I serve. High school soccer players who want to play in college. That's, if you're one of those listening, like that, I'm here to serve you. So I literally think, okay, if they're going to watch something that's seven seconds long, what can I tell them in that seven seconds that is going to help move them forward? And that's how I base a lot of my content. I literally, it's like, okay, what do I want to tell these kids? Okay, they're going to go into ID camps in the summer. What do I want to tell them about that? Oh my gosh, send an email before you go to the camp, right? And that video went viral because I was literally coming from a place of servitude. Also, for those of you who don't know, viral simply means it has more views than views, likes, interactions than the amount of followers you have. So if you had 50 followers and you got 60 views, that's viral. So it's contingent on wherever you are at and wherever you started, just so that you know. So if you come from the place, first and foremost, of servitude, then you have a way higher chance of actually landing with who you need to land with. Now within that box, because I have three, and this is number two, there's one other thing. And it's really, really, really utilizing trending audio. (laughs) You have to use trending audio. I mean, technically you don't, but if you want to go viral, use the trending audio. And so the easiest way to find trending audio is to literally like there's a trending section you can go to, but also if you just, you'll just know when the trend is going around. You're like, oh, I heard that song on five different reels today. That's the song that I got to use. I actually ask Mitchell sometimes because he has YouTube shorts and he'll be like, hey, this song was like showed up today like three times. And I'm like, okay, I'll use it. I haven't heard it because... I pretty much try not to scroll at all. I do, but I try not to scroll. So some days if I haven't been scrolling, I'm like, I don't know what song's really trending. And he's like, that's the one. I'm like, okay, I'm going to use that one. So use trending audio. And then also in number two is just look at what's working. What's working, you go to other pages and find what's gone viral. Look at that. What was the model? What song did they use? How did they present the information? Was it like three steps to this or one way I changed that or 10 ways to whatever or I'm free because dot, 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 read the caption. That's like the best way because it you know you know it works. You literally see it on someone else. You're not copying their copy, like what they're actually writing, but like the outline. It's just like a template. And you can do that on my page. Go to my page. Look at some of the videos that have a couple hundred thousand or a million views, whatever, like, okay, what's the song? What's the method? Okay, can I kind of like use that as a template? Yes, of course, free permission. <laughs> use it as a template and then it'll it'll help you put out content that you know that similar kind of content is catching to the eyes, to the ears. People like it, people share it, and it's going viral. So that's a really, really good way to make sure um, that you can go viral. So first one was be ready for hate. Second one was add value slash use trending audio slash use templates, like base things off of what's actually worked. And then number three is be authentic. Be authentic. I literally cannot stress this enough. I actually spoke, spoke. (laughs) I I spoke about this in my last podcast about how if you try and get it perfect, it doesn't feel real. So people won't like it as much. And that's why I don't edit my stuff much or edit my podcast because I want you to know, like I'm a real person. No part of me is trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to serve and add value in the space that I think I am most skilled to do so. So be authentic in your content creation. So what this means is because it's also important to do like stories and stuff like that. But if you're doing a video of you talking about something and if you have to retake and retake and retake that video, that is not something you should be posting or you should have just posted the first time because you're trying to get it perfect or you don't have a clear idea of what you're supposed to say. So sometimes I'll pause. I'll be like, okay, I want to do a story. I'm like, what is it that I want to talk about? I want to say that the sound is good for you and that it was helpful for me and why. Okay, there's go. 
It's very rare that I'll do a retake unless I feel like, oh, wait, this was, I'm wasting someone's time. Like I was stumbling so much. Then I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll redo it. But the most pretty much, I mean, in the beginning, I would sit there and like redo it, redo it, redo it and try and get it perfect. But the most that I'll ever like redo something is pretty much one time. I'm just like, I think it would might have wasted someone's time. So I'm like, okay, I'll just redo it and make it a little bit more to the point. So if you're sitting there redoing and redoing something and redoing something and redoing something, you're wasting your time. <laughs> it's not already not authentic because you're trying to be perfect. So it's not going to land anyways. And that's not to say if you have those posts up, like take them down or don't like, no, it's fine. And especially when you're starting out, your audience is really small. So it's like, who are you really trying to get that perfect for? I don't know. It's like a couple of people are going to watch it. And like only like one is actually probably going to watch the whole thing anyways. And that's totally fine. And totally normal but do not try and make something that's perfect because perfection is not authentic because we're not perfect we're not perfect beings we're not going to be until later on <laughs> um so yeah don't try to be perfect so again to recap first of all be ready for hate because you know that's coming it's literally hand in hand if you're doing awesome you're going to get hate okay because they need to justify well they why they are not doing awesome and then number two is, wait, I was like, don't be authentic or be, be authentic is number three. What was I going to say? Serve. Yeah. Serve. Add value first. Add value first and foremost. How can I help the person really get into it? And also add trending audio, do what works. And then the last one is to truly, truly be authentic. Don't try and get it perfect. It, you like your imperfection is perfect because it's how you were made and you are wonderful and you are beautiful. And if you are literally just trying to add something of value to someone else's life, that in itself is perfect. And if you st stumble and say, um, or like, or blah, 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 you're not looking at the camera. Who cares? You're totally fine. Just post it and you'll slowly get better and you'll slowly start to land on those pieces that you're like, Ooh, that, like I felt that to my core because I wasn't wasting all this time trying to get it perfect. And the other thing is like, you're probably going to have moments, at least for me on my story. It's like, I just got done with the gym. I just got done coaching. I don't look great. I have no makeup on. I feel like kind of like a mess. That is when I'm like, oh yes, I absolutely am going to post because something just came to me that was natural and it was real. And those are the times you want to capitalize on that instead of being like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll talk about that another time when I can do my hair, do my makeup, have the lighting that I want, whatever. But then like the, the authenticity of that moment is gone. So you have to capitalize. Like when you feel it, like you want to talk about something, you're hyped up about something, pull the camera out and do it. Do it right then because that's when it's going to be the most authentic co content. That's when it's going to go the furthest. It's going to it's going to land the most. It's going to impact the most. Don't wait until the conditions are right or whatever. Just be real, be authentic, and serve. And your content is going to have a way, way higher chance of, of going viral and connecting and impacting because that's what we're here for at the, at the highest level. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. I hope this was incredibly helpful. I hope you go viral if you are looking to go viral. And if you do, DM me. I want to know. I want to hype the post. I want to sit there and comment. Um, and also go to my reels. Look at how many views some of them have. Copy and paste like that kind of content. Use that kind of content. And, and hopefully you go viral because I want you to go viral. I want you to do what you want to do. So thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for listening. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, I would greatly appreciate if you could share this episode with five people you think could benefit from the show. Also, please feel free to connect with me on Instagram at Izzy Chinche or my website at izzychinche.com. Thank you so much for being you. Keep being a leader, making this world a better place.